Let's Follow, Tuck. Let's find out. Let's let's go on the. Uh... Let's go on the Twitch.tv slash slash NCO Gaming Society. Let me pull up that okay, it's... NCO Gaming. It's live right now. Okay, there we go. We can Flash. see the draft. NCO Gaming Society. Oh, good. Right. So yeah, okay, NCO. Fairly standard draft for the Flash right uh, okay. and see the draft. for the players NCO as well. Uh, oh, good. Really you only expect it's been banned right. so far. So pretty strong ban. Brand player, and what I think the two minutes of OPD judge, 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 judge. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but uh, and I know the Woolies also been playing a lot of Kindred recently. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me let me do a quick quicky announcement and announcementy announcementy in Twitch stream. Oh, yes. Oh right, yes. <laughs> Where I actually start rambling on about the draft and why I did, what I like and don't like. All right, let's, a, let's do a little introduction. Let Con okay, Connor, let's do an introduction first. All right, we've got uh, NCO Gaming Society, Newcastle University, Zozy Elks playing against some random team from I don't know. I don't know where they're from, but they're going to lose. <laughs> you didn't actually think to do this. We are, we've got the best product quality here. We, they're going to lose. It's all right. It's all right. They, they've switched out a couple of their players, so we can just report them if we lose. But uh, uh, that's only if we lose. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's we are we are we are fair. We 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 at Newcastle Game Safe support fair play. We support so sportsmanship. Way, you know. Uh, for the first time streaming. Hello, I am the former president Connor, and that looks like a funnel. Oh no. Look, it's fine. Everyone knows that every jungle main is a brown main. All right, let's uh, okay, let's put it in. Let's let's slap this in general chat. Uh, first, lol, newel, game started. All caps, because you know, because you know that, that, that's how we roll. Oh yeah, totally. Um, yeah, first round picks. Uh feels kind of weird to me like i can get i understand every choice from the players that are playing them especially the the jacks viora that is one hell of a skill matchup that is basically purely going to be down to who's the better player and nothing else um we've got that jungle brahm because you wouldn't put it anywhere else unless it's a 200 iq play putting it somewhere else ah nice all right, right, right now. Okay, I'm just gonna idle on the stream so we have more than zero viewers. Uh, wow. Also, I gotta change the title from Matt plays Overwatch to what the actual title is, <laughs> because Matt is not playing Overwatch. It's League of Legends. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, where where are we going? Dashboard. Permissions. NCO Gaming Society dashboard. Title League of Legends. Yep, and that is indeed a misfortune. That's good. I like the aggression coming out of there. Especially because that punishes anyone taking not heal as their as a secondary summoner, due to how much damage it does. The all the potential should be absolutely Updating. nothing with the rest of support. And I am talking to no one but you and your fizzy tricks and things. It's all, no, you're talking to the stream, okay? You're talking to the stream. Mm. <laughs> well, primarily, all, no, you're you talking to the your settings. Yeah. Okay, the, the, please can the title update already. Oh my god. Matt is not Plaus Overwatch. <laughs> that is not, in fact, a funnel. That is a standard game of League of Legends with a... So what do you, dude, what do you, what is your professional opinion on these compositions? Oh man, I can't see the comp right now. Wait, why, why is it back to lobby? What just happened? <laughs> Someone <laughs> disconnected. <laughs> <laughs> um, welcome to the uh, to the to a very professional setup of League of Legends, where PLAs randomly disconnect during the lobby. We have to restart that whole draft again. Although I think the ruling is that we may end up we do when we running the draft exactly the same. Probably. Unless they're stupid. I can't remember what the new rule set says, says to do. In the event of a disconnect at the champions, end of champion select. Um, I believe you're meant to be from the same draft. Just, just in case yeah, someone did disconnect for select. oops reasons. Um, unless it was an actual, you know, incorrect pick that they usually should, that should then be agreed between both teams. Yeah. I think that's probably just something, I think the players are just something that I have. Or... We're waiting for the game to start. We've just not seen that way.
All right, yeah. Oh, Angela just said her and Ollie will be watching, so, uh, yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, no, I'm, I'm, I know why they're watching this, so I don't get in trucks, so I don't say rude words. <laughs> hope, hope, if, if Angela and Ollie are watching, hope you're enjoying the technical difficulties, uh, if you're not watching yet. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Sean, Sean, she, Sean Sheepy, uh, I don't know, Sean Sheepy Cohen in the chat. What's up, Sean? Hope you're enjoying this uh, technical difficulties null stream where people keep disconnecting, so we haven't actually started the game yet. We got through. We got through the full draft, but right now nothing else has happened. I believe they're just resolving the issue just to make sure that uh, no one cheated. But I believe it was just a disconnect, so that was. Well, Sean, that's a good question. Unfortunately, I forgot. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm supposed to do a tweet and a hashtag announcements regarding the league match and the Facebook page. Okay, yeah. Yes, you are. Uh, and I definitely knew you were supposed to do that. Okay. Slash. Okay, the captain wants the Twitch link, so I'm going to give it to her. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm also going to lurk, because I probably should, even though this is going to give me some weird-ass feedback if I don't immediately mute it. Yeah. Okay, apparently Lauren's supposed to do the announcement, but she's not online right now, so I should probably just do it. But... I would slap the technical difficulties thing on the screen while we wait for the actual game, but the problem. You prob don't have it, do you? But the problem is, I don't have it downloaded on this computer. I, 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 I started OBS on extremely short notice, and I don't have any of the elements downloaded. I don't know how to use OBS, so you're doing better than me. Yeah. Okay, it's Angela. Okay, hi Angela. The game's uh, people keep disconnecting right now, so it hasn't actually started yet. Well, while we're waiting for the game to start, I'll try and find the uh, stream elements so I can maybe actually add them to the stream. I know what you can, we can do in the meantime. What, what we can play instead. I'm just going to play something you can play. What? This. What? Why did you post it? Hang on, I'm posting it to you directly. This. Oh, a spinning seat. That's, oh, that's, that's, that's good, that's good. I think you just put that up full screen. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, don't worry. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> we have we have a technical difficulties now. We at least have that. All right, let's 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 discuss some uh, rift rivals while we have our technical difficulties stream. Hey, the, the, by the way, the all prize in League of Legends should be belts confirmed. Yeah. Honestly, uh, I thought EU. I thought EU. Have, okay, I haven't plugged the merch yet. Uh, oh, oh yeah, we do have not much. Okay, this team hasn't played yet because of technical difficulties, but once they smash this team from this other random uni, go and buy their merch to uh, support them. Dozy Elks, yep, they have merch, which you can find on our Redbubble. The link is in our Twitch bio. Go and buy the merch. Rock it in public. <laughs> impress your friends. Uh, I feel, I feel impress like your mum. I feel like what we've, we're, we're missing out on here is enough, just enough music uh, clips to avoid copyright yeah. for, for various meme-worthy songs. Okay. <laughs> Sorry he's taking so long, he's in Japan. What? <laughs> <laughs> Well, well. You know what? Credit to credit to the team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cr well, uh, credit to the team for playing from Japan. Uh... <laughs> and to use one of your Japanese uh, anime things, Nani. Nani. And that's your one for the night. I'm not doing any more.
Okay, uh Okay, wait, is he Oh, it's the other it's the it's the actual player, Capex. <laughs> Capex is the guy who has actually registered on their on their tournament page, so now they have all their actual players. Okay, it's re I think uh for the draft, I think they're just gonna copy the exact same bands and picks. I think that's okay. how the rules go. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think that's how the rules do. Oh, yeah. Also, we'll ju just uh, just a, 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 qu a quick heads up to anyone who's actually watching the stream. There's going to be a bit of a rough transition between this and the actual game because League opens up a different window, so I'll have to set up a different capture when that happens. No. But uh, hopefully, it won't be that bad. It'll, it'll be all good. Just, just quickly put the uh, the temporary graphic up. <laughs> Nah, it'll take it'll take me like ten seconds to switch. Not, not even using wholesome stream intermediary graphics. <laughs> then I'd have to download it and add it to OBS, and that that takes effort. And then I'd have a, an ot a random otter gif on my OBS. Mm -hmm. Oh no no, no you, just, you just show the video. <laughs> you, it's a YouTube video. Oh no, I think uh, what they're doing is the other option, which I believe you lose a band uh, if you have a YouTube players. Ah, okay. Uh, oh, I think that'll be I'll just running it through again. Okay, you t you talk about the bands for a bit. I'll be back in a second. I yeah, just gotta so I just gotta let my, no, I just gotta. No, it's, it is the same. It is the yeah. same draft. It's just not the same order. Um, I just gotta let people in uh, my house know that I'll be doing this, so it's probably best to like not interrupt me in the middle of it. But I'll be back in a second. Alright, yes, if you can hear a hoover in the background, I apologize, but hopefully it's all good. Alright, let's 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 talk about the bit about the co these comps, Connor. We got a uh, must yeah. on the left you can see we have a mustache man and small child being played. Uh, right. <laughs> I think I think we I think we, we try and be a bit more descriptive. So we've got um, currently going for what it seems to be a poke and split push composition from the nude side with a lot of comfort but a very similar match thing uh from as you can see uh mccree ripoff has just been picked uh and then we've got lucio as well uh guys, guys please <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the um the only thing i will notice is that the only one of the two teams really has any proper fight initiation so a lot of this is going to be played around either Solo Q style just to kill each other. <laughs> or it's going to be really difficult for the uh, Newcastle to actually get onto the enemy team and start a proper fight. They need to yeah. sort of poke in and get a quick skirmish and flank where they can. Yeah, I think. Uh, I don't know. What, okay, the, the, the name of the other team is. I, I forgot their team name. But let's. Uh, the, the, Bang, that uni University of Bangor. I think that's how oh, you say I have it. A, I, it's Bangor. And I actually have a fun story now because uh, streams are great for anecdotes. I always <laughs> went to Bangor University. Nice. They were yeah. my uh, they were my parents' suggested choice to me. I didn't agree. Uh, <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry, guys. But you're listening. All right, it's gonna start. It's gonna the game's gonna start soon. Yep, and we're just gonna have a quick little transition period. I believe there's also gonna be some spectator delay. Yeah, there's also there is actually we we have to oh yeah we have to uh, we have to wait for the spectator delay to finish first. So let's talk a bit about the comps while we wait for the spectator yeah, delay. So while we're waiting for that, yeah. So. This is just to make so like we don't cheat and tell our team what the other team's doing, otherwise we could like screw up their vision and stuff like that. Yes, that's correct. Um, so the main um, thing I would like to talk about from the Newcastle, we'll start the Newcastle comp, that's fairly easy to talk about, is there's a fairly, is there's a strong winning bottom lane here with the, well, standard winning bottom lane in the Lucian, which is a really good lane, Bully and the Brown, which can, he can really sell the passive stun with. Yeah. Uh, so the way that Brown's passive works, for those who don't know, is a when he uh, auto attacks or hits his Q onto another champion, onto enemy champion, they then start stacking <laughs> up the fort on four and you stun. <laughs> but when Lucian uses ability, he gets two auto attacks. Well, quick chain of two auto attacks uh, on the next auto attack. So he can really quickly stack and wrap this up. Um, the oh, for the Zoe Zerath, uh, it really depends, and it's usually. Depending on the sleepy trouble bubble. So yeah. if 
the one thing I'm going to have a little bit of a ramble moment, but I think it is very much level of play dependent, is Zarath usually, usually wants to take cleanse. So yeah. if because uh, then they can cleanse the CP triple bubble. Uh, otherwise, the Zareth just wants to sit there, clear ways, essentially just let Warwick show up. Um, they are there just to... And yes, uh, for... Yes, I'll, hang on, keep, I'll do the tangent point in a second. Uh, and then yes, Grace is now a, is a heavy farm jungler. So uh, it's all about how you kite your camps and you get a lot of um, pretty fast farm. The uh, main thing about Graves is very low crowd control. Okay ganks, but he's really, really high damage. And you get so much gold. But just, you can out-farm, you can out-duel very well. Uh, and I don't have to do it through my time. Ah, uh, yes, top lane. That's the one I really want to get on. I think the top lane will decide the game. Because one side can just crush the other with a slight lead. In, you know, one... one kill one piece of attention from a jungler, it's pure skill matchup, and in the end, you can put, influence it really easily, So because it, it's such a high, high uh, skill cap, uh, carry ma uh, matchup for the top line. Yeah. Uh, really easily influence, and they've got, both got really good gank setup as well, especially the Jax and the Warwick. I'd be, I think that the uh, Dozy outside needs to wait that wants to wait a little while and just sort of get through the laning phase a lot because they yeah. are also double range bot lane to so single range all right it's off of uh, five seconds around. coming off the spectator delay now so yep. we're going to be getting into the game soon mm -hmm. all right let's yep. see how it goes game down will mm -hmm. the game will begin shortly shortly cheers all right, opening League of Legends. This is the first time I've opened an actual game, so let's hope it doesn't crash and then the stream is ruined. Well, let's find out. I'm going to just quickly adjust mine because I need to move my League of Legends client onto my second monitor. <laughs> Please load. I'm begging you. I'm just okay, it's loading. Oh shit, it's loading. Okay, I'm going to stick mine in borderless windowed mode, then I'll transition to it. On a minor amount of com uh, commentary as well, um... One of I'm gonna go the the new wins the skin games because the soaring sword skin line was all awesome and pretty poor skin game when the only cool skin on your team is Earth and Army team. Right, I'm just gonna quickly. Okay, watch. Uh, oh, okay, watching a game tips features and controls. Okay. I'm just gonna quickly put myself on a window. Yeah. I, uh, I think mine was quite away from my face. Is that better? Uh, yeah, it's fine. Okay. Just for, for the stream, is that better? Can people hear me now better? Yeah. Gameplay, uh... Interface. Where's board... How do you turn it on borderless windowed? Uh, if you go window, and then there should be a setting for various kinds of window. What, 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 what uh, thing is that in, in settings? Uh, if you go options video, it'll be right, right at the top. Okay. Okay, perfect. Now I can stick the uh, stream onto. Okay, Connor, talk about the game while I change it to. Uh... Yeah, so the main. So we're just doing a basic line of scrimmage right now. There's not going to be much going on, I think. I think we're going to have fairly standard uh, Gray's farm start, where he'll want to start bottom side, take the fast camps. He's really good at clearing AoE camps, so he'll want to go. Okay, that should, okay. Buff, should, should be on the stream now. I'm just using. Yep. Okay, there we go. Nice. And then yes, so it'll be fair. It'll probably be clear here. Clear the. You know, I've switched your spectator. You've got the other one on the stream. So yep. yeah, um, it'll be both fairly standard of buff top. Uh, that's probably also the right call. You definitely want to let the two top lists get to their farm immediately. Yeah. And contest for level two, and you want to be there early to gank for them around four, three. By the way, minutes. just because. Uh, um, because I don't want to screw it up too much, I'm just sticking on directed camera right now, so if there is yeah. any action, I'll try, if there is any skirmishes, I'll try and switch to it, but like, as you can see, you, right now you can see both teams leashing their junglers. It looks like they're both starting buffs. Yeah, so they yeah, can get some buffs. So, yeah. so we're taking the, so the Graves want to take the, always wants to take Oh my god, that Lucian skin, skin is orgasmic. Oh. Oh, yeah. So, 
Yeah, so this is the way that the Ling really wants to go for the Lucian. They want to get onto the creeps first and start pushing ahead for the early levels because they've got really high level 1 and 2 power. Um, and meanwhile, yeah, Jack's uh, in the top lane as the he wants to start using, making sure he uses Counter-Strike Windows, which is an amazing trade by the Jack's player. Um, like, if you, the, oh my, I think that's a solo kill, level 1. It is! Feels bad, man. Oh, come on, come on. Ah, uh, no, no trade for no trade for the bot lane. Incredible use of Counter Strike. I mean, it's the big creep because the creep wave was bigger for the Jacks. They actually got to get a load of um, creep damage onto the Fiora and just decimated them because they had no base stats. Oh my God, that is just sad. It looks like Newcastle's going to need to bounce back from this one. It's not too much game of the world. It is, it is Fiora and she does scale incredibly well, but you do have to be. A little careful that doesn't happen again. Um, but also saying that the if, if, if it's lucky, like if it's lucky, there's not that much I can do about it. Like I am, I am using Wi-Fi here. Like just because yeah, no, just, just, just Connor didn't know how to use OBS. So <laughs> or stream. I don't, I've never streamed anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, nice trade. Like even though they're not getting killed here. Where is? How do I? I, uh, sorry, I'm just gonna forget. I remember I had to use the stream client. Yep, graze damage. Now he's pushing the jump farm. What you need to do. Just want to find my. Nice. Uh, sugar. I can change some OBS settings if you know how. Uh, maybe like, like uh, lower the bitrate or something, I don't know. Uh, But yeah, unfortunately, it's already running right now, so I don't think I can do that. There we go. I've got the, I've got the menu now. Uh, so yeah, everything's fair, nothing out of the ordinary for the build. Uh, one thing you will notice as well, even though the solo kill was in there, on the Jax, the Jax and the Fiora are pretty much on level gold, uh, due to the fact that there is now a 10 CS lead due to that Raze gank, which is really yeah. good. And, uh, and even and then the Lucian, even though they didn't kill the misfortune, they're still getting a. Oh, that's nice. That was a really good use of the Zoe uh, W, where she gets to get gets copies of items, so she gets to heal. She comes. She was kind of thinking of roaming, but then when there's nothing going, just give them a give them a heal. Man, that was just a nice area yeah, we heal. Uh, the, oh, that's a lovely trick. That's that's dead. That's dead. Oh, 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 oh no, no, no. Good read. No, not to go for it. Good read. Not that lack of reading really to go for it. Yeah, that was that was the good, good control. Season. That was a bubble. Amazing. I'm really, I'm really, ha despite the fact that I, uh, the Jack got a early solo kill on the Fiora, the gold is currently in the favor of Newcastle. Oh, that, that was a good escape as well. Graves is coming down. So is Warwick though. Looks like they might find each other. Yeah. Oh. That's and then that battle to shoot you behind the dual power though of a bad Blast trade. cone away, but then luckily the bot lane's there to uh, get Warwick off of Graves so he can get away. Yeah, if you, uh, oh yes, if you press I, if I the way in your spectator menu, uh, you can bring up the items and the escalates, if you don't mind reaching that comment. And uh, items, wait, no, nah, I'm pressing I and nothing's at that. There should be I in the stream line. It should toggle like a, a thing under the playback. Oh yeah. Show you the item everyone's built and the CS. And yeah, now going back to the top lane I've been focusing on as the main match of the game. You'll notice that even despite the soul kill, there is a nearly a 20 CS advantage at this point. That that soul kill now just doesn't matter. Like, um, the items are like, the, the effective combat stops are in the in the way. Okay, the there camera. we go. Yeah, I found. Okay, thanks, Connor. Got it. Yeah. So if we now look at the items and, and the CS numbers. So that's 21 to 39, that is double, so the experience and a huge wave coming towards the Fioris, they're going to get ahead. Uh, and they've got more effective combat items, mana isn't really a combat stat, but Ninja Tabby produced 20% of the incoming, 10 now, no it's 10 now, sorry, percent of all basic attacks, and Jax is now okay, yeah. of basic attacks.
All right, yeah, so this is this is the first stream I've ever done on this computer. Like, I just downloaded OBS today, so the quality might not be up smooth, but the next time that I stream on this, it'll obviously be a lot better, but this was a bit of short notice, so sorry to the viewers. It saves me a lot of time in the The other thing I'd like to protect, bring attention to now, with CS comes up, is how badly the misfortune army manager has gone. Like, oh, no, I should be talking about that. Like, oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah, that's the, gone. The Warwick Ultimate suppression to straight up death. That's a perfect CC chain, really well set up. Absolutely nothing you can do. That's no point even trying to get out of that. I'm going to give the flesh to try, but once you're in, but you're stuck. Once again, just the like, the, the apps like the, just the inferior farm of yeah. Banger is just holding them back despite this kill lead two zero. They're still behind in gold. Like. Yeah, the only the only <laughs> lane in the distance ahead is mid lane, which has the farm lead, which is <laughs> right, just because the Zerat wait for it, the Zerat the farming is really good. <laughs> and there's not much. Of the, and then look, the Jacks missing CS of the tower, fight them, and they're down in levels. I think they have got to worry about it. They are probably going to get a free kill. I think the Fury should probably recognize this coming. Was a Warwick's coming. Just try and get a trade point. Oh, nah. There's no way out. Should like, not have flashed that as well. It was incredibly greedy to go for that. But the trade was a bit too obvious. It was a huge wave. Uh, it would have definitely been like, yeah. normal behavior. The Jacks would have been a little Yeah. Let that trade. They were letting the... Letting the... Oh. Oh, oh, the trade's all that misses. Uh, oh no! The raven types get minion blocked, but then it doesn't matter anyway. The dive is really well. That was level six. That was nice dive. Clean, bringing everything right back up. I think this is the right play by Newcastle Gaming. Rather than trying to get their behind lanes ahead, they're playing around their winning bot lane, getting them ahead even further ahead. Yeah, they just want to blow this tower up and then get into other, move the bot, the, rotate the bot lane to other lanes. Uh, um, so the main goal with that is that you want to keep snow it's a snowball game and the fact that, that if you have two people able to walk from home and just take over a lane and throw three people in, you should really nice play from them. More and more towers. Warwick, okay. No. Yeah. Fiora really feeling like she needs to get something back. I feel like that's been her downfall. She feel like she feels like I'm getting behind, I can't let that happen, and that's just leading to her getting camped repeatedly. I think she needs to she needs to just farm under tower for a bit and stop pushing so far forward. She's still got the CSB, but getting to the point where that doesn't matter and that that's probably gonna cost a tower, or at least at least fifty to sixty percent of the tower health. However, Zoe is coming over, it looks like, to try and uh, help clear the wave. Yep. That's probably a wise idea, but it, it, will it be effective in time? That's up for debate. I don't think it'll actually yeah, I don't believe this will actually be no. Oh yes, it will just be a just Nice play. Do you think no they need to chill? I think the yeah, the best play for the for the top side of the map right now. Newcastle, so Newcastle keeps their tower lead, they don't manage to equalize that, so it's looking good. Yep. The the, the main goal though we need to remember the, is they we have not a great, you know, they have good team planning, but they don't have, and theirs is fairly mobile, but hard to yeah. start. Meanwhile, the uh, Banger team has really good initial team fights, they have a lot of <laughs> great things to start in an initial burst, but it's fairly static in its position, so you end up throwing yourself in with the warrior, and then you both follow up with the army and the misfortune ultimate, which is a great combo. Once you've got that, and you've thrown out the burst, you just sort of start there. Hoping for your cooldown, and if that's not an instant burst, if you're behind that it isn't strong enough, or there's just a really good Nami uh, from shield to yeah. block the Nami. One thing I'd like to praise Newcastle for is like re really capitalizing off of their kills. Yeah. Like, and even then, the Fiora trades are still so good despite, despite their deficit as well. That's insane. Oh, yeah. yeah. Knowing what. I feel like oftentimes uh, Banger have got a kill and they're not really, they don't really know what to do with it, they don't push it that hard. Whereas as soon as Newcastle got like a kill at all, it just resulted in a tower instantly. I think there was a little problem with positioning as well, to get back to the top lane. Is a lot of the kills on the Fiora have been 
point, it's just because we've tried to get to the dead tower and it's yeah. so kind of the uh, oh, nice flash by the Xerath to get out of that. And then that's still. I might lower the sound a bit just so. Okay, there we go. And now you'll see, yeah, the overgression and the just constant attention turn around on the mirror. They still got a CS lead, but that now just doesn't matter if you can toggle the gold or everyone the fuck is to toggle the gold. Yeah. Tab. No, it's not. Oh, I love. Oh no! <laughs> I was just mousing over the grump there, and it froze for a second. I've actually forgotten the uh, the hot key for. Um... Also, uh, Connie, you could you could oh. maybe move your mic a bit closer. Yes, uh, thank you. Hello, is that better? Yeah, that's better. Right. So yeah, at this point in the game, uh, most of the team really want the... Uh, Newcastle team really just want to be trying to... And they are they're not moving in twos and threes, just to try and secure vision around the Rift Herald in the mid lane, because that they're not going to be able to get down really past the zone by either killing them with a really good pick, or by getting this Rift Herald. Uh, the Rift Herald being, uh, when you kill it, it gives you... Get control of it for one use, uh, yeah. and it, massive amount of damage to towers on, on its uh, charge, which is which takes a, ma a percentage of its massive health pool, and as he just dumps it on the tower, it's got it's got so much health as well. It's really hard to clear. I don't out think. Yeah, look, look, it looks like Banger aren't going to be able to contest in time. Their jungle is way too no. far, and they will pick it up. Yeah, no smiting range. That's, you, when you're looking at that, that's an instant <laughs> deletion on the army. Oh, I didn't. Oh. No yeah, blink and you'll miss it on that one. And then, yeah, they can just use this to tank this up. The Xerath can't really get in range to kill the Rift Herald properly. They actually have, even then have to blow ultimates. Yeah. Oh. Nice, nice unbreakable from... Oh. Yeah. That's still only a one for one, but and the Fiora is coming in. I think that's going to come at two. Maybe it's going to two. Ooh, maybe not. Nice. But they're going for the they're breeding. But they got, they got it, they got it. They, was it worth the yeah, It was worth. Okay, it was worth. A lot of a lot of gold in the Zara's pocket, but they are the main shining light right now for that banker nice. team. They've got all the farms, they've pretty much have everything and the kitchen sink into keeping that Zara alive and poking. But if they aren't getting proper if they if they, if, if this becomes a proper another keep another scrap like that where the Fiora can just flash yeah. on to him. One thing I'd like that, could... I'd really like to praise the Fiora player for being one and five and yet still not getting tilted and still going for aggressive plays that like Yeah. A little, sometimes a little bit too aggressive. Sometimes like, a little bit too aggressive, but like so, some players, once they die a lot, they just start thinking, "I'm not going to go for anything anymore. I'm just going to yeah. sit back and do nothing." So it's it's yeah, like all, that, all one, that one ended up being worth. Down. That one ended up being worth. But it's good. It's good that uh, Newcastle's getting their kills onto the Lucian and the Graves because they're like some of yeah. the big damage dealers. Yeah the, prime, yeah, the two primary uh, range carries are definitely where you want your gold right now. Like the Zoe's also good. It's a good place for gold, but really she's just a facilitator for the two marksmen. Um, so the fact we have two marksmen in the game right now is, is baffling. Uh, I'll explain that one later. When we have, we have, do we have multiple games tonight, actually? Yeah, we do. We have three, I think. Then in between our, our games are only a thing I did not expect. Yeah, and then again, Smite's just not in range. Good vision, vision to know that there's nothing in range. Looks like side. yeah. Second Ocean Drake, that is quite good. Yeah. So Ocean Drake's up by percentile sustain when you're out of combat. Uh, up to so it goes two, four, six percent of your maximum health. So here he took a bad trade. You just back out as long as you don't get blown up about now. Uh, oh. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> <laughs> I should never say anything. I feel bad. Um. You will start to regenerate your health very rapidly. Oh, nice out, trade! Really good as well. If you've got a, uh, so you've got this Lucian and Bromwain in the bottom lane now, continue to push. They just have nothing to fear. They can just, yeah. Wow, and even get the all-in kill just out of nowhere. That was really brutal. They're, they're brutally ahead now. There's little that that's what you can do. She's got no mobility. 
she's that close, she's oh, dead. But I shall say. more power to the Zyrath again, because no one else is in now. No one else can really, there's no one with really proper mobility to dodge the uh, Warwick engages either. The Warwick, the Warwick. The, it's got, it seems that there's two, you know, sort of, I'd Ooh. say semi power squads right now, three. I feel uh, like, the, I feel like right now, a lot of this game is just who can get their carries more ahead. Yeah, the, the, every team has three sort of leading pl players per team right now, and I feel like it is becoming which one just ends up stronger. Right now, I'd say that that definitely goes in favour of the Zera uh, Warwick and the Jax, but I do feel like that falls off a little bit to the fact that the, yeah. the two range marksmen, because eventually that Graves is going to hit the point where he will get some crit strike and two crit you in the face at one point in my range. Especially because the Jax can be turned around like this, he's got the near side, he can't see anything, and he's dead! Oh, nice. Beautiful. Nice one from the jungler. Oh, you uh, uh, reduce your sight range to incredibly short, just outside of the melee range. Uh, the fact that Fiora just dashed out and came back in. Oh, uh, stream's lagging. Uh, that would be due to very, very bad internet and me not having any ability to stream. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't understand OBS. My last computer kind of just worked. Bye. This is not going to be a great uh, quality night. I'll say. Uh, afraid for that one. On uh, internet quality. We might have some time between the games for me to go and try and see if I can pick something up, but we'll have to work that out. Yeah. We'll find someone who can. Oops, of <laughs> which might be the better plan. Honestly, Connor, if you just download OBS in between games, like it, it takes like two seconds to set up. Okay, uh, I just need to, okay. You might have to give me a teach then between these. But yes, sorry for the uh, technical difficulties, chat. I can, but I don't know how. Oh, yeah. No, I'm just getting it wrong. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, the power, the power that Zerath Wake was still keeping me in so. uh, Hey, next week, no, 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 no I, I did not agree to a multi-week deal, I agreed to a one-time deal. Uh, I'm doing a Brock Lesnar, I'm not going to be back here for six months, uh, and you're just going to have to deal with that fact. <laughs> if anyone doesn't get that reference, then Google it. <laughs> Might be able to, but we might have lost fixed between games. As for now, but we're downtime, just not many teams can really commit to anything. There's no reason to try and commit to Baron. As I say that, I hate, I hate, I hate when players try to prove cast as well. Oh my god, they put the smite bot lane on a board, that's brilliant. Yes, no, there's nothing that the banger can do. Or it just went down bottom lane. Here's a tip for you never go bottom lane when Baron's alive if you don't have teleport. Or this might happen. Oof. Do they have a smite up, or is Warwick down? Warwick's down bot lane, he can't do anything. There's no smite to contest, it's oh. we can because there's so many of the carries ahead, it's just... Oh no, oh them. this is a slaughter. This is a one-sided affair to end all one-sided affairs. Oh, he got blocked a bit by the red buff there. But, it doesn't matter. And then, um, it's just the Warwick left, and he's coming way too late because he was in bot lane. First, um... Yes, first rule of League of Legends when Baron is alive, never go bot lane without teleport. Trust me, I will report you. <laughs> Especially if you've got the smite, actually no, it's, it's more important that if you have the smite you can't be seen on Ward's bottom lane. 
Especially right now, Baron is very, very easy to kill, especially with very high damage composition yeah, like the one it's, it's that Newcastle has. Can't Blade of the Ring can give you percentile damage on auto attacks, and the Graves right damage now, as well, just being very, so very high on his auto attack. That damage just damage dies in seconds. Newcastle has. And then you've got Fiora has percentile damage on her kit. No, can't cross. So you can go and save the split push like that. And then there's another pick just for trying to ward and not having a yeah. of vision. On a blue trinkets, but behind on the Fanga team. So they Feels know, bad, they man, know. for Nami. Support's got yep. Support's got a dirt. If there's no blue trinkets, they've either got to get the team to get fire load of them or uh, oh, die. <laughs> Although I'll, I'll uh, ramble that one. Not bad later. Um, there's a few little things. Actually, I'm not all done yet. A few things with the trinkets, but I would like to point out. So I'm going to the blue trinket that. that uh, uh, Balrovin has currently the uh, on pollution. The far side alteration is a really long range one hit killable visible ward. The M team ward, but you can, if you're buying or if you're behind, I wholeheartedly recommend just buying a ton of them. You don't get to go forward very as, as often as you want to, and you can just sort of throw them across. You can throw them from miles away just to double check. Yeah, that's happening or not happening. For that, it's a fairly good barrel. Yeah, great barrel push. Just keeping it on multiple ways. I think it's pretty much clinical unless you, unless uh, Newcastle make a huge mistake. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> 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 I, uh, I, I do cast. Yeah, this is this is, this is pretty. This is pretty one. Yeah, this should be currently now. Uh, yeah, just, just push it well with the barrel and the runs out, and I just want to reset, take some time, uh, and then try and put another set of things to set you up. But, well, that's another. I, when I say massive mistake, this might be the one. To get there goes the Fiora. The Graves might be going to. Two. Oh no! There goes the Zera and the Misfortune in one one shot from the Graves and a triple kill for the Graves already. And is it a quadra kill? Oh god, quadra kill! Go give him the quadra. Go give him the pen too. Go give him the whole pen. Go on. Ah uh, no, he's out of range. But I think that's it. I think that's it. All said and done. To be honest, at this point, no. Keep pushing if you're uh, Newcastle. Just rotate down. If you can't, if you if you want, aren't you? Then you just take both inhibitors, back off, and reset, and then you can win from there. Just by just ramming yourself down top lane. Nothing can be defended at this t at this early in the game. Two super weight with mini ways. Just don't have the items on a misfortune, who's already quite bad at clearing through minions. Um, to clear one of the ways, it is entire. You can't go out anywhere. You, you just end up fairly stuck in your base, just slowly trying to push these super minions out. And you can just get full range to grab any of it if they so choose. So while again, while we have some downtime, I'm now going to take the downtime to explain why I didn't expect to see this many marks in the game. Uh, so this would be Graves, uh, Misfortune, and Lucian. So currently, with just balance, you generally see the ones that aren't super lane dominant less favoured, um, and especially then it's usually the safe ones. So Misfortune, the problem she has is a lot of people are playing high damage, very mobile characters right now, just because they are the at tanks are fairly undertuned, defensive shielding is fairly undertuned. Um, so you're better just playing high mobility, high damage builds uh, in, for the most part. So you end up where Misfortune is just, she's good, she's got very strong damage, but she, she got the difficulty of she just gets jumped on when she wants to stop her ultimate. Um, and even then, you know, we've got even the bronze for gone actually buying four items to build proper selfish tank items in this game. 
so I don't fully agree with that, but that's my own problem. That's my own disagreement. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's a lot of, so it's fairly difficult to play characters like that right now. You want to play stuff with higher mobility, like the Zoe, like Lucian, the Graves, uh, to, to make navigate fights easier. Uh, right now as well, and then because you you get hit by things like the sleepy bubble bubble, and you are almost dead in one shot. You see, the great ability pulling him out. Does the backline a uh, nice use yeah. of his foot? Just watch them go go uh, status. Just jumping through the backline mode, nothing stopping him. But everyone puts the two two main backline guys so they're far ahead they get at the moment. And it's watching static and efficient things, and start to be things, and that's the game if they just get straight onto the Nexus. Yeah. So, I think we're gonna try and do a me learning how to use OBS quick. Alright. Just, uh, just, okay, ch ch like, stream chat, like, is this any better or is it still just crap? If it is, then we can try and get Connor to do it. Yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and exit the game on my mind. Uh, tick client, and. All right, if I will go to OBS myself. So I have actually downloaded it, I just didn't know how to do it. <laughs> what, what do I need to do to have this streaming? All right, let's, you, let's, let's, let's keep mine up you... while... Yeah, sure. So do you want to, shall we uh, knock the audio off though, for the stream right now? A minute. All right, let's, 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 let's end the stream quickly and then uh, we'll be back in like a second once I've told Connor how to set it up.